Hey everybody, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to take a quick look at the Performance Tools Groove Joint or Slip Joint Pliers. These are a pretty ubiquitous tool to have in just about any kind of situation, any kind of toolbox. Uh, it can be used for all kinds of jobs, any time where you need to loosen up something and you uh, just need to get a good grip on it, it can help get you some more leverage. These are really useful for changing out uh, bearings on tires, uh, doing any kind of maintenance on all kinds of automotive things uh, around the house, loosening up any kind of joints and pipes, so all kinds of things. So let's take a closer look at them, talk a little bit more about uh, what you can expect with these pliers and kind of how they feel in the hand. I feel pretty good, the, co the grips are fairly comfortable uh, as you get to the narrower jaw, of course you got a little bit wider grip to hold on to, but it's still pretty comfy. It's kind of plastic and rubber, and they are glued on to the metal portion of the wrench, so should be pretty durable over time. The pliers themselves are made of a uh, precision machined steel. It's a chrome vanadium steel, so it should be pretty durable over time. Something that I notice is that this, the joint here, the, um, the kind of the pivot point, it does have a nut. It looks to be a lock nut, so it should stay in place pretty well, but if it does happen to get loose over time, I like that you can actually tighten it down. If something is riveted together, a lot of times if that rivet starts to go bad or if, it, if it's just a, a joint there that doesn't have a way to tighten it, it can be kind of annoying because it loosens up and you never have any way of tightening it back down. So that is something that I kind of like. Again, the handles are glued in place. You can kind of see this epoxy coming out at the bottom here. I don't really think that's gonna be a problem. Um, epoxy should hold. This is probably something that you're not gonna be using each and every day. It's kind of more of uh, when you need it. Uh, it's nice to have. As far as the span for the jaw, whenever it's at its widest here, get a ruler on that. It's about an inch, or excuse me, about two and an eighth inch wide. We go to the, the narrowest part of that jaw, it's about two inches, let's just say two inch. And then goes in, let's see. Looks like it goes in about quarter inch increments all the way down to all the way closed. So our next notch in is about a quarter of an inch. Yeah, so you got about, um, or several different grooves in here to adjust. And again, quarter inch increments to get that dialed in where you need it to be. The total length of our pliers, if we have them opened up all the way, it's about 12 inches maybe 12 and a quarter, close them all the way down, still about 12 inches. So 12 inch handle, pretty fair to say. That's pretty much all there is to it for our look at the groove joint or slip joint pliers. I hope that this has been helpful in deciding if this is the right tool for you. We do have a lot of other options available here at eTrailer.com, along with a lot of other parts and accessories in general. So be sure to check them out. Thanks for watching.